G'day guys, welcome back again. I'm going to do another pearl pour for you with the Extreme Sheen 24K Gold. I'm really, really loving these pearl pours, but I just haven't got the consistency 100%. Um, I think my last one might have been a little bit too thin. That's it there. Well, hopefully it will fit into the frame. See how I've got lots and lots of little baby cells and they've kind of lost their roundness. They're kind of bumping into each other. When I have this kind of look when I do my flip cups, I know that my mix is too thin. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to have a bit of a play with it. That one's dry now. Let me see if I can show you the shimmer shimmer. It's a bit hard to pick it up sometimes, the shimmer shimmer. Oh, let's see. No, I can't pick it up really. Just looks a bit pale, really. <laughs> uh, no, I can't pick it up in this light. I don't know why. It's dried beautifully. It's just looking a little bit pale through the screen. But yes, yeah, uh, dried really, really well. Okay, put that off to the side for a minute. I will give it a coat of gloss at some stage. Now, with my previous uh, pearl pores, I used the Artist Loft Black. For those people that can't get Artist Loft Black, I'm going to go with the Liquitex Basics Black just so that you guys can see how it works without having to. Uh, get that brand especially if you're in Australia you can't get the artist loved so we'll just have a play with what you can get today just to make it easier for everybody and I've mixed everything except for the gold three parts Floetrol to one part paint no water today just to see what happens. And the other thing I've done with my white, I've added some of the satin enamels. I've never done a pearl pour with the satin enamels. So let's just see what happens. I am a bit worried that my black and white's gonna go gray and it may well do, but let's have a look and see what's going to happen. Give that a good stir. Now this size canvas is a 30 by 40 centimeter, which is a 12 by 16 inch. And I know that I need about 380, 370-ish grams of mixed paint. So the black, three parts Floetrol, one part black. My blue here is the phthalo blue with just a touch of the black. So they've each got 60 grams of Floetrol and 20 grams of paint. So that's three to one. So that's that one. The white is 10 grams of the basics, 10 grams of the satin number, so that's 20 grams. And then that's also to 60 grams of Floetrol, so three to one. This one here is just equal parts of the blue and the green mixed together to give me a bit of a turquoise. The satin, oh, the um, Supreme Sheen, I'm using half a bottle. I put in 30 grams of paint and 30 grams of Floetrol. So that's little this little guy here. You don't need a lot of it. It's really strong, so there's not much. With the black, you've got to be careful because the black takes over. So you don't need very much. This, again, is, um, what did I do? 20 grams of black to 60 grams of Floetrol. So I'm only going to put in about half of that so not much in there um, and the rest of the black I'm just going to pop a little bit of water into it just a splash it's just tap water give that a mix and I'm just going to use that to spread around on my canvas I've been finding if you use too much black in your cup you get the center is too dark you do want a little bit of colour in there. It's okay if your cells all encroach and you only get a little bit of black, but if you don't get many cells, I, I find that maybe the centre is a little bit too dark. So I'll cut down on the amount of black that I'm using. So as I said, equal parts 
of each colour and the black. So 20 grams of paint, 60 grams of blow troll. We'll see how that goes. I'll just spread this real quick. I'm not going to worry about the middle. I just want to get the, the outsides done. And I will be tilting over the, the edges as well. So I don't need to cover my sides. You don't really even need to do this. I, I don't think you do. Um, but making up 10 grams of paint <laughs> to 30 grams of Floetrol, it's hardly worth it, isn't it? It's such a small amount. So you might as well just make up the same amount that you do with your colours and spread it out a bit. It certainly won't hinder it. It'll make the paint flow a little easier. If you want to, you can go over your sides with the black. Um, for the purpose of the video, I won't though, because I know that you guys are watching and waiting, so I won't hold you up too long. Okay. Oh, what's that? There's a hair. <sighs> Get it out. I don't know if it's gone. Okay. Now, I thought, I don't want to put the white next because it'll mix with the black, so I thought I'd go with the light blue, turquoise, and then the white, and then the navy, and then follow it with the gold. I think that will look nice. So just pour it in from up high. Well, not way, way up high, just, I don't know, it's probably about six inches from the, the lip of the cup, it's probably about six inches from the top of the cup. If you mix, if you hold it up too high, it kind of blends too much. It's a fine line. You want it to blend, but not too much. Just experiment. Now, I don't know if I should use all this white. Not sure. I might not use it all. I'll just pour some in like that. And I won't scrape it out. Probably left about 10 grams behind. It probably won't make any difference at all. Okay. In goes the navy. Pretty colour this, the phthalo blue with just a touch of black. It's turned it into a really pretty navy. I do like my navies. I'm really keen to see what the white's going to do, if anything. I may get clouds, I may get clouds and pearls together, or I may just get a big grey mess. I, I don't know. I haven't done this before actually. In with the gold. And I'm going to pour a little bit of the extra just over the top. Make sure you use all your gold because there's not much there. It's only 30 grams of paint. So you want to get it all out. Okay. Right, oh, I'm keen to see what this is going to do. Just make a little point there and dirty pour just straight into the middle. Hopefully it's going to still have a, a relatively dark centre. Looks as if I'm not having any gold in the centre though. It looks as if, oh there's a little bit actually. And it comes a little bit of white as well. I'll just do a little bit of a, a wriggle like that and then catch it. Okay. Um, now, I don't think I'm going to torch just yet. I think I'm going to just tilt first. I can torch afterwards. Round in a big circle. It's looking a bit grey, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. I hope that was the right decision. Never mind. It's only paint. Let's get rid of some of that grey. And around we go. Just stretching it a little bit more. I'm going to try and take a little bit of that grey off the corner there. 
Okay. And back to the middle. All right. So now I've got sort of a more of a diagonal look to it. I've got some blue there, I've got the grey there, and then I've got that centrepiece. That was why I sort of tilted that a little bit off there, just for the composition, really. Okay, let's torch and see what's going to happen. I don't want to torch too much in that corner there because there's quite a bit of curls popping up there, so you won't torch that too much. I think I must have tipped a lot of my gold off actually. <laughs> oh well. up here they've actually got turquoise rings around gold center which is really pretty I haven't actually seen that before and then these ones here I've got white rings around like a shiny turquoisey gold center I wonder if that's the white that's doing that because I don't normally get multicolored pearls they're usually just plain gold like that. But these ones are actually multicolored and these ones are multicolored. I'll put I'll pause the camera for about 10 minutes or so uh, and then I'll bring you in for a close-up and I'll show you those multicolored cells. Right, I will I'll be back. Just zoom it in. If I can. I always get that problem of having my, the powder on my fingers from the gloves and then I can't zoom on the screen. How's that looking? Centred. So annoying when you're watching someone and you can't see the whole thing, isn't it? There we go. Always try and make sure it's in frame for you by putting on my little marker corners and things. All right, let's leave it at that. And um, yeah, I'll come back. See you soon. Okay, guys, I'm back. Look, how pretty is it? Kind of got a cloudy center. <laughs> Uh, again, it's very um, cyclone, eye of the cyclone looking, isn't it? I always seem to pour weather. All right, let's have a look. I'm going to take you around here and show you what I mean about those multicolored cells. See that? They've got the turquoise ring around the gold. And then up here, and obviously the, the white's doing that, maybe the satin enamel, the white ring around the turquoise. And then what like a, a soft blue where the white's blending with the turquoise and it's got a gold center. It's really unusual, isn't it? You can see the sparkle there. That's better. And then, of course, we've got the dark center, which is nice. Looks as if those pearls are just floating in space. Little ones over here on the edge. Some gold there with the turquoise, so they're taking on that greenish look, which is really pretty. Green and gold, Aussie colors. More turquoise. Mm -hmm. And then we've got that sort of cloudy look in the centre from the satin enamels. Glad it's in the centre actually. 
I wasn't sure what it was going to do. I thought maybe we were going to get like little white cells around the edges. Had no idea what it was going to do. And then some more pretty gold. So that's it. What do you think? I don't think I like it as much as my usual pearl pores. Um, I just, it's probably just because it's got the white in it instead of having that really dark background. I prefer it to have that more of a stark contrast between the gold and the dark. But it's still pretty and it was worth a try. I wanted to try it, so I did. I like to experiment. So there you go. Hey, what do you reckon? I like it. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is mix up the same colours again and go with the same colours, same ratio. Uh, but I will omit the, the white and see if I can get some just gold pearls with that really dark blue. I think that would look really nice. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, I will, no doubt, see you for the next one. Okay. Bye for now.